Hi guys, this is Sabi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. In this video, we are discussing about switchboards. We will see what is switchboard and components of switchboard and calculation of switchboard sizes and configurations as per IS and British standards. We will try to address some problems or scenarios. What is a switchboard? Switchboard is an equipment that distributes electrical power into small load circuits. Switchboard receives electrical power and it distributes into small small loads. What are the components of a switchboard? In India, two types of switchboards are used. First one is made of IS standard, then British standards. If you look at a reputed switch manufacturer Schneider, Schneider ranges Sensolo, Livia, these all are based on Indian standard. Then their ultra premium range, Avatar On, this inspired from the British standard. So both the switches are available in the market. If you look at the components of a switchboard, first one is flush boxes, back boxes or concealed boxes. Second one is functional accessories like switch, socket, fan regulators, etc. We have two plates, switch plate or inner plate. In that plate, all the accessories will sit. It will provide the housing for the all functional accessories like switch, socket, fan regulator, etc. Another one is cover plate or outer plate. This is for the aesthetics. This will provide you a pleasing look. If you look at the part one by one, the first one is flush boxes, back boxes or concealed boxes. Flush boxes provide back support for the wiring accessories. So it is available either in metal or PVC. You may have seen concealed wiring, right? The wires are concealed in the slab or in the wall. We will chase the wall and we will do the wiring. So in this type of applications, metal boxes are used. Another one is PVC flush box. It is used for open wiring in exposed installations or open installation PVC boxes are used. There are some points to be taken care while selecting the flush boxes. First one is recommended to buy a concealed box with two numbers adjustable legs. If you look at the concealed box, you can see two legs. Plates are screwed into this legs. Preferably these two legs shall be adjustable. If there is a minor error in the fixing of concealed boxes. You can adjust in this adjustable legs. This is a small point but very important. This will help you to keep the alignment of the switchboards. The second one ensure proper knockout sizes. All the concealed boxes will have factory made knockouts. So you have to just open this knockout and connect the conduit. Please ensure correct size of these knockouts. Normally in power wiring we will use 25 mm conduit. In light wiring we will use 20 mm conduit. So based on the application please ensure these knockouts are in correct sizes, either 25 or 20 mm as per your requirement. Third one, earth terminals. There should be an earth terminal in the concealed boxes. So you can directly connect the earth wire to the concealed box. This will protect us from the earth fault. Switches and concealed boxes preferably shall be from the same manufacturer. Every manufacturer keeps some tolerance level or keep their identity on their products. If you are buying concealed boxes from one manufacturer, and switches and sockets from other manufacturer, maybe the plates will not sit into the concealed boxes. There will be some misalignment or there will be a difficult for installation. In order to avoid this scenario, it is preferred that switches and concealed boxes shall be from the same manufacturer. Fifth one, ensure correct thickness. Normally metal boxes with 1 mm, 1.2 mm, 1.6 mm thickness are used. If you are using Myvan formworks, 1.6 mm thickness metal boxes is preferred. Another one is switch plate or inner plate. It provides a housing for the wiring accessories like switch sockets. In modular switchboards, we will fix the switches on the inner plate. Then another one is cover plate or outer plate. It is used to cover the inner plate or it will give us the more pleasant look. If you look at the modular switchboards as per IS standard or Indian standard, the size is expressed in modules. What is a module? One module is the size of 6 ampere single pole switch. Two module means the size of two number of 6 ampere single pole switch together. 6 ampere single pole switch that is one module. If you look at a socket, socket is bigger than switch, right? The socket is two module. The size of socket will be equal to two number of 6 ampere single pole switch together. Then fan regulators. Fan regulators available either in one module or two module. So some fan regulators are one module, other fan regulators are two module. 
is known as DP switches or double pole switches. We can see from the picture. It is two modules. The size of DP switches is equal to two number of six ampere single pole switch. DP switches are two module. This should be by heart for you. Based on these sizes, we are calculating the switch board sizes. Similar ways, cover plates also available in one module, two module, three module, four module, six module, eight module, twelve module. Up to twelve module, almost all the manufacturers making cover plates. Some manufacturers making nine module cover plates also, but it is not available with most of them. Conceal boxes are also available in this range. One bar two module, two module and one module same conceal boxes are used. Only the plate will be different. Two module that's also similar to the one module. Three module boxes, four module boxes, six module boxes, eight module boxes. In some ranges, six module and eight module plates will be different, but the conceal boxes will be same. Please finalize the wiring accessory selection before proceeding with the conceal box installation. The model for wiring accessory which is intended to install in the building shall be defined prior to the installation of the conceal boxes. Otherwise, there will be a mismatch and may cause a lot of reworks. Let's learn to calculate the size of a switchboard. Consider a room. It has light switch two numbers, socket one numbers and fan one numbers. We have to calculate the switchboard sizes. So our room has two number of light switches. We know light switches are one module. So one and one. Two module spaces will be occupied by the light switches. Another one is socket. One socket is there. We know socket is two module. So two module spaces will be occupied by the socket. Socket itself will not be sufficient. We need a switch to control the socket. So additional one module spaces will be occupied by the switch. Then another one is fan regulator. Fan regulator either comes in one module or two module. For a safe calculation, I am considering two module. So two module spaces will be occupied by the fan regulator. Then regulator will not be sufficient for the fan. We need a switch for the fan, right? So additional one switch for the fan. So what is the size of the switch board? You can see light switch at two numbers, two module. Socket, one numbers, two module. Two plus two, four module. Switch for the socket, one module. Then total will be five module. Then fan regulators, two module. Five plus two, seven module. Then switch for the fan, seven plus one, eight module. The size of the switch board is eight module. So we have to select 8 module plates and 8 module conceal box for this installation. If our fan regulator is 1 module, what we will do? We will install 1 module regulator. So there will be 1 space vacant, right? Only 7 modules are there. The plates are available in 8 module configuration. So 7 is occupied, 1 module is free. That space we will fill with a blank plate. To ensure the safety and more aesthetic pleasing look. There are a lot of standards for the switch boxes in the world. In India and Middle East, preferably two standards are used. One is Indian standard or IS standard. The second one is British standards. In this picture, you can see the sockets used in some countries. This British standard switch boards also very popular in India. This is the picture for British standard switch boards. Some manufacturers in their premium range or ultra premium range, they are making this type of switch boards. For example, Schneider, Schneider Avatar own range, they are one of the expensive range for the switchboards in India, is made based on these standards. If you look at the switchboard carefully, you can see the boxes are square, 86 mm by 86 mm. We call this as gangs. One switch is called one gang, two switches called two gang, three switches are called three gang, four switches four gang. The socket is switched socket. The switch and socket together. There will be a switch along with the socket. If you look at the back portion of the switches, this is how it looks. So you don't need to wire the switch. In Indian standards or Indian installation, what we will do? We will install two switches and we will interconnect the switch through the wires, right? In gang switches, there is no need to interconnect the switch. It is already factory fabricated and interconnected. We need to take only outputs with a single input. If you are using these accessories, these accessories are installed in 3x3 boxes. 
for two module boxes to so the back portion the conceal box shall be two module in some ranges tin sockets are available then we can say six by three boxes will be there for the tin sockets let's consider a scenario let's consider a room with light switches two numbers socket one numbers fan one numbers so we know there are two light switches are there so we can use two gang switches for the light but there is a fan also if the lights and fan are in same circuit the two gang for the light and one gang for the fan can be combined together and install a three gang switch with two gangs controlling the light and one gang controlling the fan then socket will be there then fan regulator fan regulator additional boxes required for fan regulator we need additional concealed boxes so in this installation how many concealed boxes will be there there will be three concealed boxes each with three by three or two module so one concealed box for the light one concealed box for the socket and another concealed box for the fan regulator so 90 percentage of the scenario the light and fan will be in the same circuit if the light and fan is in the different circuit what happens there will be two lights so we have to install two gang switches for the lights then socket will be there then we have to install a separate fan regulator for the fan we need to install a additional one gang switch if they are in different circuit this will be the scenario this will not happen in most of the scenarios but this is how it works you should have clear understanding about the basics that's it guys i think you got a fair idea about the modular switchboards in indian standards and british standards if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in the next video bye bye